All right, I'm going to play a snippet of Eddie Murphy's monologue from SNL, and I'll go right to my commentary. You know what, but if you had told me 30 years ago that I would be this boring, stay-at-home, you know, house dad, and Bill Cosby would be in jail. <laughs> Even I would have took that bet. I'll tell you. Who is America's dad now? That was Eddie Murphy's monologue from his guest hosting on SNL. So here is my op-ed on it. Um, Eddie Murphy is America's baby's daddy. He's not America's dad. I know he said that to, you know, as an ironic twist of humor, but Eddie Murphy is America's baby's daddy. And as far as Eddie Murphy knocking and blasting Cosby, I, w I was cool with Eddie Murphy just sticking to his original stance of not making any Cosby jokes or doing any impressions because he was going through um, his ordeal with the media. But now that Cosby is in jail and he's blind, um, he has since lost a kid. I have to question Eddie Murphy's motives as to why um, he would resume this. And to me, it's out of line. And I say it's out of line because if Eddie Murphy was to not go against Cosby, if he was to flip the script and go against someone else on the Me Too hit list. And when I mean someone else, I mean someone else that isn't black on the Me Too list. Then he would receive all types of scorn, um, ridicule, and disdain and contempt because he decided to target, um, fill in the blank person here. But, but it's interesting that him targeting Bill Cosby all of a sudden is the media event of 2019. And to me, it just, it just um, shows me and it just proves to me how biased the media is and how biased all this coverage is. You know, there's no, there's no fairness here. There, there, there's just double standards galore. As far as I can tell. And getting back to Eddie Murphy being America's baby daddy. I say that because it's true. Um, because unlike Bill Cosby, Eddie Murphy has 10 kids by at least five or six different women. Whereas Cosby had all his kids by Camille. So I don't know, um, Eddie Murphy. I mean, you're still funny and everything. I'll, I'll give you that. But that joke about Cosby, him in prison and all that other stuff. Come on, Eddie. You, 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 you could do better than that. You, if you know better, you do better. I mean, yes, I'm a big fan of Raw. Um, the first Eddie Murphy movie I seen was 48 Hours. I seen that on Christmas vacation. Um, I seen Trading Places. Um, I seen Beverly Hills Cop on VHS. I seen The Golden Child on cable. I seen Coming to America at the movies. And I seen Beverly Hills Cop three at the movies. I seen um, Vampire in Brooklyn at the movies. Boomerang, of course, at the movies. And I, I think that's about it. Most of his other movies I've seen on TV, like The Distinguished Gentleman and all that other stuff. And um, Bowfinger. But anyway, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. And you know the irony of this is, if it wasn't for a Bill Cosby, the four people who in his view, equate Netflix's budget wouldn't be on stage. In fact, they wouldn't be on TV. 
Because Bill Cosby, regardless of what side of the opinion spectrum you fall on, broke barriers in that regard. And it's and it's quite troubling that we forget that. I mean, Bill Cosby, he's almost 90. He's like our Bob Hope, our George Burns, our Milton Burrow. And this is how we treat our elders. You know, it, it's it's a shame. You know, we should have more respect for our elders in that. And, you know, for Eddie Murphy to, you know, go all out and be out of line and out of pocket like that was just absurd. And, you know, um, I was watching other um, commentators on YouTube regarding this whole thing. And one of the things I kind of avoid doing is doing retreads of what was already said. And... Simply put, I, I'm in agreement with him. I'm in agreement with Harvey Superboy and um, Nicole's view on this. Now, will I go and see Coming to America 2? I'm on the fence um, as far as that goes. We'll, we'll just say that. I'm on the fence. But yeah, Eddie Murphy, you should you should have known better than that because... It wasn't too long ago you was in some trouble, too. And, you know, picking up a tranny prostitute claiming that she was giving her a ride. Where you could have just gave her maybe like 20 or $30 and she could have caught a cab. But I, I still question that, Eddie. So let me ask you this, Eddie Murphy, if you're out there listening. Were you worried that... If you didn't go along with the Bash Cosby agenda, that they would bring that out? Were you worried that if you didn't go along with it, that Coming to America 2 would be shelved or buried on Redbox or Amazon somewhere, not having a theatrical release? Was that, was, was that your concern, Eddie? And somebody said, well, you know, Eddie could have did something on Trump and he could have did. Yes, he could have did that. But, you know, Eddie Murphy has never been uh, what I call a political comic. He has been he's not like a Bill Maher or a Dennis Miller. Um, his stick has always been relationships, observational humor and to a degree race relations. But he's never been, uh, you know, a political comic. But it's quite interesting that Cosby's special that was supposed to be on Netflix was shelved. And after that, you started to see like a whole bunch of other black comedians with specials on Netflix, Netflix almost every month. So it begs the question, who is the most to benefit from Bill Cosby being off the board. So anyway, that is my op-ed on Bill, I mean, on Eddie Murphy, America's baby's daddy. And let me get on a PSA on that ass, like Mad Bus Driver X would say. Um, I have to agree with Andrew Wyatt. Eddie Murphy is a Hollywood slave. In fact, the majority of most of these black celebrities I see are Hollywood slaves. We don't really have black celebrities that are going to speak truth to power these days. And the ones that do, it's in a small percentage. But it's, it's, it's a shame that in 2019, get ready to be 2020, we have a whole bunch of scary Negroes out there. Instead of Negroes, they'll be like, you know something? F this paycheck. At this part, I, I'm just going to say what I have to say and let the chips fall where they may. But I understand. Um, you still want to be at them parties. You still want to be um, doing guest appearances on this show and that show. Um, you still want the movie roles to keep coming and that money to keep coming. Um, you still want them women and you still want to be married. You don't want to be in a divorce you know, doghouse and all that other stuff. Yeah, I get it. But 
At some point, you're going to have to stand for something instead of fall for anything. So that is it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love.